Welcome to Dig, Build, Fix. I'm Langdon. Today's project is building a swale based on an existing water drainage feature that had failed on this customer's property. The first job was to get this rock out of the way. This area here is where the existing drainage structure had failed, so I started there digging the area out, cleaning it up so that I could then get on and rebuild. The most important thing here is that as I'm working, I'm running back and forwards with the machine each time I put down a layer of material and compressing it. Even though it's only a small excavator, it still has enough um, ground pressure to squash the clay down and uh, remove most of the air. So you get a pretty uh, solid re result. I was running into some rock here. That back corner of the swale has a fair bit of rock in the ground, whereas closer up to the, the big tree, there's still more clay. So I'm just going back and doing another pass now, building the wall height up bit by bit, packing it in. I had more material than I needed, so I was just pushing a bit of it over the back of the wall to give me more depth in the swale. Obviously, I can't compact that material off the side there. That's too steep. You can't really tell in this video just how um, steep the, the bank on the downside is, but it's severe. This area of the existing drainage structure was actually holding a bit of water. You can see the clay here is fairly soft. One of the problems with working on a job like this is it's really easy to pop a track off because you're not working on a flat surface and you've got rocks and so forth and uh, I ended up popping that track off a couple of times, which was really frustrating. And this is the end result. A couple of weeks later, my client had a, a big rain event and the swale filled up very nicely. You can see down in the back corner that that wall is a little bit on the low side. I couldn't pack that area as well as the rest of the wall because it was narrower. So I'm going to have to go back in there in due course and build that wall out a little bit and raise it up because we want the swale to overtop along the entire length of the swale and just spread that water evenly down the um, hillside below it rather than the water all coming down from one point in a stream and therefore creating more erosion as it was doing previously. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.